what's up guys another cool one to show off this is one of my world war ii propeller dial builds um, this one a little special new colors we haven't done before we did a nice tan on here and then a darker tan on this hit it with some air um 110 case on this we did a 110 case engraved the star on the crown we did a matching buckle on that and let's wind it up a little bit it died on us uh, it ran for I don't know 38 ish hours so let me wind it up just to get it going just a little more comforting watching it uh, run while I'm explaining everything so distressed dial, uh, we did that in brass, added some black paint to it, then scuffed it up nicely. This has a custom set of black Moldova hands in there. They were silver, we painted them in black and then loomed them, and then a custom painted uh, bronze second hand. Um, this has a stainless steel movement holder, and it has one of my rotors on there, but this has a solid, what even show? Solid case back. That's because I put it on one of my new aviator bun straps. So super, super, super comfortable Italian leather strap with a removable bun that just feeds right through there. So get that removed from there. <clears throat> so that just aids with it being a little bit more flush on the wrist but removable bund this just feeds right out if you want to do it on this side you would have to um, use a spring bar remover and pop this uh, buckle off but um, tying leather bun strap so first time Anybody's getting one with this style on that. First time anybody's getting this Cerakote as well. So um, that is the build as a whole. Um, bezel on this will turn left. It'll turn right. But not very easily. That Cerakote is holding it on nice and tight. Automatic mechanical, so you can wind it, you can wear it, you can put it in a watch winder. But if it's dead or you're not going to be very active, make sure you wind it up just a little bit before you put it on and how you do that is how I did it earlier. You back the crown off the threads until you hear it and feel it clicking. Whenever you feel that, you can then wind and a wind is a turn that way. Turning it towards you doesn't do anything, but it's a lot easier to keep your fingers spacing and just go back and forth. You cannot overwind it. You can wind it all day if you like. Whenever you're comfortable with how much you've wound out, you can pull it to the one and only click and set your time. It's got a 31 hour power reserve on it. it. Does not have a hacking movement, so it's going to keep going. You'll also notice it's got a wobble crown that deflects lateral pressure from going into the stem and into the movement. Okay, Google, what time is it? It's 2.01 p.m. 2.01 p.m. You're good. Push it over. Get it out of that time setting. And screw it down. That is the build. As with every build, it comes with matching beads. The wife made some really cool ones. With a little bit of mixture of like this wood and uh, glass beads. This will come in a custom dial matching propeller box. Which my phone does not want to focus in on. It will come with watch clearance. It's good on all glass and metal parts, so everything there in the center. Non-toxic, non-residue, non-streaking. It will also come with some leather conditioner. This keeps that leather strap perfectly soft. Just apply it on the front and back, let it soak in. That's if this ever becomes hard and not pliable, which will be a long time. 
You also get some fine scratch remover. This is Novus 2 from Amazon that we've repackaged. It's like poly watch and it's because you've got an acrylic glass and you can't scratch it. But if you do, put a tiny bit of this on it and buff against that scratch, not with a scratch, using your included microfiber and you will buff it out in about 20 seconds. That is a build. So if it's going to you, I appreciate you a ton. Thank you for selecting this. Um, a buddy of mine sent me some silver with this propeller on the silver and I loved it. So we started doing these dials. So if you were getting this, congrats. Um, it has a 31 plus hour power reserve. This thing ran for like 36 hours before it died. Um, kept perfect time. At least every time that I checked it, I didn't check it at the, the 36 hour marker. Uh, otherwise I'd have wound it up a little bit more and kept it rolling. But um, yeah, so uh, this is the first one with that Cerakote. Uh, the first time we've done that dial that way. Um, this is the first of this Italian leather strap in general, and then the first time with this style bund on it. And uh, yeah, so if it's going to you, congrats. You got a very unique one. Um, and I appreciate your support. If you want me to build you something custom unique, reach out and I'll see what I can do. And if you want to continue to see videos like this, like and subscribe as I put them up all the time. Thanks, guys.